welcome back to my latest baby trapping video. Before I get into the video, I'd like to give a shout out to Trainwreck for letting me use his uh, account. It is a uh, ore hyper, or not ore hyper, a stone hyper slash tier four account that I can use for trapping. So thank you for to him for letting me use that. Uh, this is actually a clip that is from Lord's Cup. It is one of my most favorite events. At one point, it was actually more. It was my more. Yeah, it was. More favorite than, let's say, KVK was, just because of what you can do and how you control people, especially as tra as a trap. So what I do is I basically uh, try and steal people's balls, um, get people to try and hit me. So there's a ball coming in here. What I'll do is either try and get the ball or that, and people actually try and solo me while doing it. So I've got a bunch of 75 speed ups on this trap count, and I got basically nothing else to use them for except for Lord's Cup. So this guy is sending 300,000 and his leader at me. We'll see what happens. He does not get a walk back from that. Um, this is my baby trap, by the way, if you guys don't know that. So it was a 375,000. It looks like it's tier three. Um, yes, it was a 300,000 cab blast. So that could have done some good damage if I was not a very strong uh, baby trap. Uh, even 300,000 tier 3 will totally destroy someone's front line. I, I knew this guy was uh, going to do that because I think I stole one of his balls. Um, so I've been just kind of waiting around the wonder, trying to steal people's balls, using up all the, like 40, like 75% speed ups I have. I have many of them to use, so I can use as many as I want because um, I have nothing else to use them for, really. Um, I'll keep a couple just in case I get in trouble and need to speed my marches back to my base, but... Um, yes. Anyway, so this one was an attack right after that. It was 200,000 troops. Um, he sent 200,000 tier 3, but no no leaders in that, so you get 80,000 tier 3 dead. Um, I probably stole his ball as well. Uh, so, I, yeah, this is one of my mo most, uh, what's called fun events, or my most favorite events, I guess I should say, uh, is basically Lord's Cup. Uh, just because you control people like this, get people to hit you. It is awesome. Um, make sure you're strong enough to take hits because you're in the wonder and you can't shield. Um, I guess if you burn, it's fine, whatever. Uh, you get teleported out. This guy's sending 50,000 troops at me. That is not going to do anything. Um, he needs to send a proper attack if he wants to hit me, but he ended up sending 50,000 troops at me. We'll see what he actually sent. It was, oh, and he had nothing left. So that was actually tier one. So I'm not sure if he was killing off his tier one or he meant to actually try and hit me, but yeah, his infirmaries were completely full. So he ended up losing 50,000 dead. From those 50,000. So this guy is speeding up towards my my uh, my base right now. Um, I guess he's from another hive. I'm not sure why he's hitting me. But he is a uh, quite big guy. Um, I, I think I'm scouting around and stuff. I'm burning this hive. Maybe he is a ally of this FW2. They are the uh, sub guild of FW, I believe. I'm not sure. He must he must be somewhere something to do with them. But he ended up sending, what was it here? We'll see what it was. It was tier th 4 for sure. Um, he sent 250,000 tier 4. He did not send his leader, though. And I ended up eating that very easily. No leader tier 4 is very easy for this trap at this point. I mean, I was 33 million might at this point. So a little bit higher at this point. So I am currently attacking. So uh, we'll see what he actually sent there. Um, he ended up, yeah, 100,000 is dead. So we'll see if he... So yeah, it was all tier 4. He sent mixed tier 4. Um... He did actually send he heroes with that, which is good. Um, some of them were like Trickster and stuff, so they weren't great heroes. But yeah, he ended up injuring 72,000 or uh, Tier 1 and then 13,000 Tier 2. So it wasn't the biggest hit, uh, which is mostly Tier 1 uh, basically getting injured there. So that would be quick to actually heal up. It was the Tier 2 that takes the the uh, the more, nah, more time to actually heal. So that's why I have the Tier 1 in my front line, just so I can reduce the speed ups needed to heal. So that's only about 3 hours, so I'll just heal that up quickly. Um, make, make sure that my infirmaries are empty, uh, just because my tier or my baby trap can't take as many, uh, losses as let's say my main trap can. So, um, make sure that those, uh, my infirmaries are a little, uh, empty. I didn't actually heal up all the way. I think that's a, uh, it's a little bit of a, uh, what's it called habit from a main trap that I don't like healing up. So he actually ported next to me after this. And uh, we'll actually see what happens here because I'm getting ready because if he sends a full attack, he does have some good gear. Um, he obviously has tier four, so this could hurt a lot. So we're going <laughs> to. Oh, he's actually saying nice trap. So um, I'm, I'm basically getting ready for the attack boost because if he actually does send a proper attack with um, his gear, um, 375,000 could do some good damage to me. So I'm just making sure I'm ready to actually pop that attack boost. Um, I can't remember what my. Uh, my, uh, my comp is at this point. Um, I probably showed it in the video, but uh, we'll wait to see what actually happens here. Yeah, so like I said, if you're a baby trap and you're 
in this situation, just make sure you're ready because um, a 375 attack boost here, here, here comes an attack from, oh, this is actually another guy. This guy is like 550% attack, by the way. Um, he, he told me afterwards, but I was like, oh God. And yeah, I only had 116,000 infirmaries, but he ended up doing 400,000 damage to me. Um, this is the main part about the, uh, uh, thing being ready because I was I was not ready for that attack. Um, but yes, I did end up capping him. But yeah, like I said, he has like 500 plus percent attack on this guy. So I was like, oh god, <laughs> I did I wasn't expecting this. But yeah, you can see his gear is quite good. Uh, gold drums, uh, purple level uh, 60 for the rest of the stuff, and then the mythic uh, what's called main hand. So yeah, he's at over 500 percent attack. So it was actually a good test for my baby trap because. Uh, oh, I know what comp I had right now. I just had a, uh, I think I was just infantry range at this point. I was just testing out the comp. It does, it works great about against, uh, what's called, um, against, uh, cav, but it doesn't work so good against infantry because I have no cav to counter that. So I decided to build some cav after this. Um, I did lose a couple hundred thousand troops on this, but a lot of it's because I had no infirmaries at the time and I was just doing some testing on it. Yeah, you can see I have no, I literally have no cav at this point. So I would not suggest this build. I was more of a test, but yeah, he ended up uh, killing off 300,000 of my tier two. Uh, but I did end up capping him. So that was the good thing that came out of this. But um, yes, because that was, that was actually very good gear for someone to hit my baby trap. That's not the, the guy I'm normally trying to cap on this account. Uh, so it was uh, it was a little bit uh, nerve-wracking when I saw it coming in. Just because I wasn't sure what was going on. And he sped it up quite quickly. And I don't believe I popped an attack boost quite in time. So I did end up uh, actually capping it. So it worked out perfectly fine. But yeah, I did take some big losses on that. So if you're a baby trap, make sure you're ready to take those hits. Because those can do a lot of damage. Good thing he wasn't actually like super big like... 700% because I would have totally like zeroed me probably but he was 500 plus percentage um he he I messaged him after and he told me his stats I was thinking it was like 520 or something on cav so it, it was quite a big uh cav blast there so here comes a 2000 march at me I'm burning someone else oh I think I'm just farming this guy um that's that's what's going on I'm farming the, this guy for resources this guy sent 2000 troops at me I was like huh <laughs> Okay, that's, I guess, he didn't get through my wall, but, uh, yeah, it was tier 1, too, so, I guess his, uh, ballista started doing quite a bit of damage to my wall, and here comes a 50,000 from the same guild, uh, this is a, a more real attack, because I don't know what that attack was, 2,000 troops with a bunch of tier 1, and I was like, yeah, this guy is only 4 million mice, so this is also not a very big attack on me, but he's sending 50,000 at me, he's, a. Uh, trying to get me as my troops are out i believe maybe that's what he's trying to do trying to release the leaders because i have some leaders of theirs and he's sending fifty thousand mix it looks like not sure of the tier of the troops so we'll see what he actually is sending it is quite slow so probably tier three unless he li really has slow troops because that was very slow walking towards me so I i'm just gonna wait and see what he actually sent he was 50 50 000. oh We'll see. I think that's tier three. Oh, no, it was a mixed bag. Okay, that's what it was. He did have tier three in there, but he sent literally the whole kitchen sink at me. And he ended up... He didn't actually lose any tier three. There you go. He learned his, uh, learned his attack well enough that he lost zero tier three. It was just tier one, tier two losses on him. So good on him for layering that, because obviously he wasn't going to walk back for me. Um, here's 100,000 from Mata Iblis. We'll see what his gear is. It's nothing. He's got, like, research gear on. I'm not sure what he's hitting me with. Um, but oh yeah, he's not sending his leader, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what, what his gear is, so I'm going to speed that up there, because that's a long, that was a five minute walk. We'll see if he actually attacks. I don't want to waste a, a relocator, because I like the hive I'm in, so it, sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually port, but if I don't think the march is worth the port, sometimes I'll wait the whole time for it to come and hit me. Um, and I didn't really think this was worth the port at the time, so... If you're sending his leader, I would port away, just because I wouldn't want to wait five minutes for him to just cancel a march. But since he's not sending his leader, there's no real point. I'll just I'll wait for the march to come in. If there's multiple attacks coming in, I'd, I'd definitely take those just to get the uh, the march. But with this attack, not so much. So um, it's 100 plus thousand. And I, I can't remember what castle. It was 24, right? So it could be like 160-ish thousand troops coming at me-ish. Uh, you kind of have to estimate because like, like, you don't know exactly at, at this watchtower level what's coming at you. Um, and like I said, tier four has caught me off guard before because they've been lower, uh, might and had tier four. This guy obviously can't have tier four because he's only level 24, but 
Um, you got to actually be careful what's going on because sometimes they'll, they'll send a sneaky tier four attack. If they're like a 90 million might guy. You're like expecting tier three. Yeah, it was, one, it was 160. So you end up losing 60,000 troops there. Uh, he did send tier two. So it might've been uh, layered in there enough, but he did end up losing 32,000 of his tier three as well. He, his heroes were not very good, um, but that's expected at this level. So yeah, so anyways, um, here's a 10,000. Oh, okay. Anyways, so, so this is going to be the end of the video, basically. This is just a, uh, an attack in the background. I think I've showed you guys this attack. I just picked a random clip because I wanted to talk over top of it. Um, so, guys, if you guys have top five clips, please send them in to me. I have enough, I believe, for the top five this week, but I might need one more. I, I have to double check on that. Maybe I'll get that done today or tomorrow. I'm going to start working on that, or I have been working on it. It just takes longer to put all the clips together, choose which one it is. Some people like send me like battle reports and I got to edit those into the video and stuff like that because they don't want to show their comp and all that. So it gets really complicated. So if you have some clips, please send them in. I'll leave my line in the description down below. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, thanks. I'm shouting out a couple people. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a guild I want to shout out. Um, just one second. Pause it. Oh, yeah, the guild was R underscore J Rogue Joker. They are a new guild, so if you guys are looking for a good guild that's uh, just starting up, they are a war guild, and they're looking for new people. They're at 54 of 100 members right now, so if you guys want to join a new guild that's actually quite big and, uh, well, quote-unquote new, um, I think they're going to be part of the, is it Sugar Family? I'm not sure Joker. Anyways, um, you guys can go uh, apply to them, just kind of, look around there. I usually jump in and out of there, so you probably see me there if you guys want to uh, basically join there and uh, have a good community and War Guild. They're going to be starting that up pretty soon, so please, guys, go join them if you're looking for a guild. Um, monster Hunting, um, ZMH is the Monster Hunting Guild. I'll leave the admins links in the description down below. Uh, you get hundreds and hundreds of um, Tier 3 plus Monster Hunting uh chest in there so if you guys want a good monster hunting guild please join them and i think that's everything i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one